Starting today, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas will be at the U.S. Capitol facing members of Congress again, um, some of whom want him impeached for his handling of the border. We're now joined by one of the members of the House Judiciary Committee, Wisconsin Republican Congressman Tom Tiffany. Congressman, thanks for being with us this morning. Good to join you. So we know the committee launched a full-scale investigation into what you call Mayorkas's, you know, dereliction of, of duty. But I think I'm most curious in how you expect today to be any different from all the other times that we have heard from Mayorkas in the hot seat. You know, he'll say the border situation has been an issue for decades. Bipartisan approach is needed to fix the current crisis. I mean, this kind of seems like Groundhog Day. Yeah, I think you summed it up well. We're going to hear about how the border is being fixed. This is not a crisis. Um, uh, in fact, he's going to laud that there are decreased numbers coming across the border. And hopefully we can give the American people context of how they're going about measuring this, especially with the increased use of parole that this administration is using. The border numbers actually are not going down. What will your first question to Secretary Mayorkas be today? I mean, what's the most pressing thing that you want his answers on? Well, I think the most pressing thing is fentanyl. Um, it is a direct result of what's going on at the southern border that we're seeing more and more fentanyl poisonings. And by the way, these are not overdoses with fentanyl. They are poisonings. And the cartels have operational control of the border, as the sheriff from Cochise County in Arizona has said. Fentanyl, I think, is the most important issue that's going on here because it's killing tens of thousands of Americans. I refer to them at this point as the fentanyl families. Mm -hmm. And when you say that the crossings and apprehensions are actually not lower, I mean, we've heard the opposite. I mean, what, what evidence do you have to back that up? Because, we, you know, migrant apprehensions in June were lower than they've been since February of 2021. Um, so what numbers are you seeing that we're not? So first of all, those apprehensions still, as the administration is measuring them, are still at record highs compared to previous administrations. But what they're doing is they're using parole. They're using a different way to measure people coming into the United States. And they've um, increase the number of people that are coming in via something called immigration parole to allow them in here. And that way they're able to change the numbers. So it's really sleight of hand that's going on at this point. And they've even created an app to be able to get into, um, get into America and illegal uh, immigrants can now use an app to get their appointment to get into the United States illegally. Yeah, not sure how many people are downloading the app and, and, and using said app uh, to, to gain entry. Um, the other thing I wanted your take on, uh, why is Secretary Mayorkas the target of so much criticism on this issue, the focus of this hearing? I mean, what about, what about Vice President Kamala Harris, who was named border czar and then the issue vanished from her schedule? I mean, can we bring her in for a hearing to switch things up or, or no? Am I missing something in how this all works? Well, President Biden and Vice President Harris have chosen to um, not address this issue. They've just said we're they, they've done a photo op, each of them down at the southern border. That's it. They don't want to touch it. I think it's really important to realize Alejandro Mayorkas is the brains behind this. If you look at his history, he believes in open border policies. And so they're making him the face of this. And he's a true believer. He's doing the right thing, even though. We have our United States government now is running the largest human trafficking operation, perhaps in the history of the world. Mm -hmm. Congressman Tom Tiffany, uh, we'll be following this closely. Thank you for joining us on Morning in America. Appreciate it. I, I appreciate you having me. On. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.